Hello everyone, my name is Patrick Frawley and I'm your product specialist for Tractors. Today you join us here at our Class UK headquarters in Saxon and in this video we are going to have a look at our C-Matic droop settings that we can adjust with a machine with a CIS Plus cab. So, you now join me back up in the cab of our CIS Plus C-Matic machine, looking at some of the transmission settings that we can make on this machine. So, one of the fundamental features of how a CVT tra transmission works in any tractor is a feature called engine droop. Essentially, engine droop sets a limit of the RPM that the machine will work to under full load conditions. So what do I mean by that? Well, if we think about we put a large cultivator on the back end of this machine and we have a droop set of 20%, what will happen is when we're really trying to push hard and achieve our maximum possible forward speed with the cultivator in the ground, the engine has available to it 80% of the RPM. So, what do we do and how do we set it within our screen? Well, we pop into our menu cluster. We go into our transmission menu. You can see here on the left hand side and we can come into our dedicated droop percentage menu here. You can see symbolized by the engine symbol with a percent sign in it. If we pop in there, we have essentially two different presets that we will have a look at first. Eco and power, you can see here in the center and then eco on the right hand side. Now the important thing to remember is with these two different presets, both eco and power, is they are just names. What matters is the percentage value. Essentially, the greater the percentage value that we have, so 25% for example, we have less RPM available to us. So by setting a percentage of 25%, we have 75% of the engine RPM available. So as a rule of thumb, I will generally start as power mode at 15%, which is a very good rule of thumb for a transport style application. For then field work and pulling conditions, I will then start my eco droop at 25%. This gives us only 1650 RPM. The reasoning for this is for our pulling and draft work style applications. We want to be further down the RPM range, closer to our peak torque. And for our transport style application, because we're working that bit faster, we want to be slightly higher on the RPM range, closer to our peak power. Again, completely understandably that these figures and percentages can be dialed in to your own specific needs and requirements. The last percentage we then see available to us is a fixed mode. This is what's operational when we are using a fixed engine RPM, for example, on PTO work. And when we have a percentage of 10%, or I would recommend a minimum of 5% in this case, what basically happens is this is how far the engine RPM will fall. So in this example, we have a engine memory number two set at 2000 RPM with a droop of 5% set it will allow it to fall to 1900 RPM before the tractor is, starts to slow down. The only other example where I would have a percentage higher than 5% is something where you have uneven load conditions. For example, a large square baler. In this example, I'd maybe increase it to 15%. In this case now, as the piston on the large square baler comes in, it will allow the RPM of the engine to fall further before the forward speed of the tractor is reduced. This will then negate that sort of rocking um, kind of conditions that we used to see in some large square baler applications. The last thing we can then do as well, guys, is obviously we can change our droop mode through our transmission menu by using this icon here. We pop in here and we can change between eco and power. Our fixed mode is only activated, as we said, with a fixed engine RPM. We can also then assign our eco and power to a function key. So when we're constantly changing from field to road work style applications, we have this available to us on F1. We can see at the moment we are in eco mode. As I press F1, you can see my pres preset changes to power. So giving me more or less RPM available to me, depending on the application that I am doing. So thank you for watching everyone. I hope it helped. Feel free to watch some of the other videos in relation to your own specific machine. And if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact your local dealer.